Yes, so now our introduction uh, me meditation, just to set up the space to come back here fully. Attention, which is outside, we bring it back to the room. Maybe to the sound, to the smell, to whatever can help to bring us here in the room. And then we start the same, concentrating on the breathing without trying to do anything. Just observing the breathing, coming in, coming out, the air. Just by paying attention, the rhythm may slow down by itself. And if our attention is going out, away from the breathing, going in the thought or something else, we gently bring it back. Without force. Everything is rhythm in the manifestation, so breathing is also a rhythm in out. And this rhythm is occurring. the sense of being so we can slowly let our attention shift to the sense of being it doesn't matter how it appears to you this sense of being I am. Now in this state of awakening, I can be aware of the sense of I am. Like I can be aware of it only in this state of awakening, not in deep sleep. But still in deep sleep, I'm still there without that sense of I am. So now I'm speaking to that which is beyond or in spite of the sense of being, sense of I am, which is always here. With the, whether I am aware 
or not. Whether I forget or remember. I'm speaking to that. Whether I feel connected or not connected. Whether I feel tired or fully alive. I'm speaking to that. Whether I am happy or unhappy, whether there is pain or no pain or pleasure, I am that which is experiencing all these differences. Now any comment from the mind can be seen just as a comment, a commentary The mind is just like a commentator commentating upon what is happening, what should be, what should not be, how people should be, how they should not be, how they should act or not. Always busy in his own commentating. But this commentator is not disturbing what we are, what I am. is beyond the reach of experiences. Remembering or forgetfulness. So the more this message is heard, the more what is happening is perceived as as a dream more and more, as a dream, as something which is not affecting the nature of what I am. The character is affected with ups and downs. But the character belongs to the dream. So it's totally normal that there is feeling ups and downs. And we can witness that from that deep, deep space, which is always here, which is our nature, our Buddha nature, or the self, we can call it. The name is not important. contemplation on that which is beyond any description is the knowledge which does not need to know or the pure devotion pure bhakti to what I am where bhakti ceases to be separate or separation. So we can always connect with this sense of being 
sense of I am which is the gateway to to the self to the nature of what we are and with the practice or with the mind we cannot go further than this we can only be in that self love with a can be through a form a guru your master but ultimately it is without form the form of the guru is just there too it's like a gateway to finally realize that you are the the guru itself or the absolute self that there is no separation because this is this root this sense of separation which is the root cause of all pains so th through the devotion to the guru or to the sense of I am or the sense of being full pure devotion to that is a gateway just have to come back again and again again whether it is in jnana or bhakti knowledge or devotion we come back to that same doorway and from there we have nothing to do it's a doorway in between the doing and the being And the more we sit here in this gateway, the more the sense of doing, of being the doer, is vanishing. And the more the sense of being is appearing. as our own nature nothing to do nothing to achieve So, the Shakti energy will go on moving out and in, out and in. So, might lose this awareness, it's part of the game. So, now we can come back together. I will open the the mic so uh, I don't know if I did it well so you can open your mic if you want 
I don't know if I did it well. Uh, ah yes, you have to switch on individually, individually if you wish. Yes. Now. Yes. Here. So welcome back. You lost me? No, you Who's lost that? me. Frank. Yes? Nilama? Nilima, what you said? It was very nice. <laughs> ah. I, I miss your face. I miss Canadian place. Yes, Sue and you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so Sue is here also, in the fridge. No, I'm joking. <laughs> No, she's sitting with me on the sofa. Yes. So. So. What are we discussing today? Ah, anything regarding that? Because I have been sharing with few of you some extract from a book from Nizargadatta, which is a sage from uh, no. Ma Maharashtra. I have uh, not read it as that. I was busy. Yes. So you sent it on WhatsApp. I have to read. Yes, so I introduce a little bit some, some, uh, ah, Tanya. So if you have anything to, to say about that or to want to come here, so I haven't read it. Okay. I haven't read it. What is the topic? What is it on? Ah. Uh, He's talking about this, what I introduced in the meditation, the sense of being or sense of I am, which is, he, and he bring it to the parallel with bhakti, devotion, which are at the end, it is the same. It seems to be different, the path of knowledge or the path of devotion. But at the end, it is the same because you put your attention on this uh, it's not the, the even if you have an outer master, it's a form outside. But even this master will tell you this form. It's just a form, but it's not the real master. The master is uh, the self. But first, you go through this love relation with the outer form. It's a help. Uh, but it's not f forever because it's still in the in the in the dream of. Uh, so it's different approach, but it come back to the self, same, o only to realize that we are, the sense of separation is an illusion. Yes, yes. So well, no. it's all good, but the more we go on the way, on the path, the more we'll see that there is no so much difference as we think about the path yes. of knowledge and the path that of back to devotion. Yes. You Good. If you but feel like that. Many times I, I feel how much I'm collecting, how much I'm having. What will I do? <laughs> Means staying in a house. Then there are so many things I give away, but it keeps multiplying. I don't know how. And where will I end up with all that? I feel so. Yes. So let it go. You can just witness this coming and going, things are multiplied. So it's a, yes, you don't need to, to take the ownership of that. I do, I don't do. You, you can observe like Shakti is playing, energy is playing. Like that. Just appearances, appearances. Then sometimes I feel, am I collecting? Am I being greedy? Accumulating. This is the also feeling I have. Yeah, but you don't need to catch that thoughts when they come. It's a mind thought. You don't need to don't need to take possession of the thoughts. You let them float. You don't know. 
you don't need to go inside the, the mind and the thought and, and take it for your own thought. This is what you can learn. To not say it is my thought. You let it just thoughts. Ownership is a problem, not thoughts. You understand? What is the problem? Ownership. What is the problem? Ownership. Ah. Not the thought by itself, but is a sense of I think, my thought. This ah. bring ownership is a is a trouble. Not nothing is a problem no thought no no action nothing only the ownership on body mind or thoughts or anything ownership is the problem okay to say it's identification identification is the problem yes yes this is a, yes this is what i mean identification with the body mind with the thought with anything when i go in that in any form then identification is there yes ownership this I, I i use the same word for identification and ownership my body my thought yes so that's why we invite to watch this this guy who collect everything as mine i was listening today to a song of uh, the beatles i me me mine and he said in the song all the day long all what i hear is i me me mine so it's all about i me and mine so i will just remind you to click after 10 minutes to click again on the link as uh, other times yeah, so it's all about uh, all about me, me and you and all these differences and separation and ownership. Yeah. Master had told a story about a king. A king king went to a, a cobbler. A cobbler was a saint. Yes. He was a saint. But he was a cobbler. So master went. And when he came, he said, oh, I, I, give, I will give you everything. But give me gyan, give me knowledge. So cobbler said, first thing, give me your wealth. He, he says, you want wealth? He says, yes, you give me all your wealth. He says, I'm giving you the kingdom. Then the cobbler said, give me your body. He, then he realized, yes, take this body and give me your mind. So the king gave his mind. And then the cobbler said, now you go out of the uh, hall. And he went. And then he, the thought came to him that I'm going out of the wall, hall and uh, I've given everything uh, for the knowledge. And then suddenly Cobbler said, you have no no uh, power to think because you have already given my, your mind to me. So how can you think? So you come back. Then he came back. So Cobbler said, now you sit on the throne. I don't need anything. But everything that I, I'm giving back the kingdom, but you work for your kingdom as though it is not yours as though it is mine so your thought is mine your kingdom is mine and your body is mine and you are nothing just work for me yeah so this and is su can. surrender right because so surrender yes for western people sometimes it can be difficult to accept this because it looks like a sect from for western people sometimes no, even for eastern people yeah, My yeah, best yeah. for everybody. Yeah, but now I'm telling you, for for Western people, it's okay. yes. But it's surrender. So no. surrender is su devotion, bhakti to a higher power through a form. So, but it come back to the same as questioning the sense of I or ownership. So you give you bhakti devotion to give that to a, a master or higher power. But this story is not a cobbler. It is ashtabaka. Ashtabaka with the king ah, Janak, with the king Janak. Yes, yes. yes. But it doesn't matter. Correct, correct. The the story, I I remember the story. Yes. Ashtabakra. 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 Yeah. Yes. Yes. And Ashtabakra is the story, like in his talks. Yes. Tanya. A lot of. 
Yes. And not only Ishwa, many many people uh, speak about Ashtabaka. So yeah. yes, this story is yes. King Janak. King Janak and Ashtabaka. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Cobbler and Kirby. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Because it was like a saint, uh, this King Janak, uh, which we don't have these days. All the president now in the world are just after money and fame and ego trip. But uh, in that time, it was possible to have rulers uh, who were real rulers, yes. not for ego or money. Yes. But now it's, yes. it's not existing anymore, uh, probably. Yes. Now it is only collecting, collecting for generations. For what? Who knows? Yeah, it's all, it's, but then it's also a good chance to sp the spirituality is also very open for everyone so that is uh, the, the good side you know outside it is it seems very dark and at the worst but at the on the same time it's very a, a very good chance to to grow spiritually so in fact uh, with this corona more and more uh, people are diverting towards uh, spiritualism is what I feel towards yes. being nice sober kind and uh, uh, approachable yeah it's pushing it's like a pressure the pressure uh, from outside is pushing inside yes. and to put more attention inside and to be less outside and so I and it's funny the name of the virus itself the Corona as a crown, so it's just okay. funny. Yes. Yes. <laughs> it has brought everyone on the same platform. Yes, uh, international meditation retreat. It, yes, it has brought the topmost person, presidents, and the <laughs> person from the street at the same level. In fact, uh, I I am observing that in our country here, people who are very on the streets, they have got more immunity than people who are well off. Mm -hmm. This makes sense. So everybody enjoys the movie uh, according to his state you know, of yes. awareness. Yes, very different. Is, I mean, huh? In India, uh, you see, you know about people uh, sick of Corona. You see around you less Corona. We don't have so much. We don't have problem. This is amazing. There are people because there is. We have lesser problem than the West because I think we have more immunity. Yes, that's yes, what yes. I feel. I don't know, but our government has controlled it very well. <laughs> they take the credit, the government. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, our our prime minister has done a very good job of controlling yeah. the corona. We have much less than the West. Deaths also less. So. Anything else? Will, huh? Let me show you the book. Ah, you f you f you found Ramana Marichi. And my dog ate it. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> you see, because you are from India. You are she. She's talking from India. Or yes, from, from yeah. Delhi, New Delhi. No, I'm New Delhi. I'm Chandigarh, actually, I'm in Chandigarh. Ah, Chandigarh. Yes. Oh, okay. yeah. Yes. It's near. It's near Delhi. You you yeah. see your dog, nice. your dog is a, the opposite of God, the letters, dog ah. and God is the same. Yeah. Yes, so yeah. the dog is not happy. You are coming closer to to God, maybe. So he's eating the book no, no. on God. <laughs> no, like it, but it's Frank is still read it. I wanna read it. Like, it's still read. Frank. You are very smart. Very smart. <laughs> yeah. So a, a, a joke. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Shall I tell one story? So, actually, it's a. Yeah, Tanya. Oh, go ahead, please. Go ahead, please. But 
it is a different topic on karma shall i tell i should take the permission of the host uh maybe first tanya ta tanya uh, first tanya she was because we have to share a little bit okay, the speaking okay. afterwards okay, okay. okay so actually like there's a series that came up like on amazon prime called fatal lok it's oh. a bit of it's a bit on crime and how in india like there's a there are three different sections living like heaven there's a area in delhi called heaven which are, which is the lutians and uh, and chhatrapur area there's a area in delhi called this noida west delhi and gurgaon that's earth and there's another area in india only which is actually hell like people are in hell there and it's based on that and all and it had like some spiritual meanings in it it, it like it was a really uh, brilliant series do you know about it this okay one? no i don't know but there is three region hell heaven and the third one heaven. So hard. You know that the, in scriptures these things are mentioned in uh, in our Indian scriptures. Mm -hmm. These these things are like there, like there's a heaven, there's a hell, there's earth, and mm. all. But like the series has like like a really deep spiritual. It has combined spiritual spirituality and reality of our country. Yeah. So it's like a great series. Yeah, so we can always see matching and correspondence yeah. with things, but yeah. it's all a reflection. So, yeah. uh, it's actually on Prime. But if we lose, okay. Yes, so um, so on what you said, you know, it's good to bring stuff like that sometime, uh, but to not lose ourselves in it, but to see it's all reflections of uh, our nature is not divided, but it start to reflect itself in opposites, so hell, heaven, good, bad, all this. So you will have always uh, levers and layers of reflections and it's so vast after if you go to higher planes and higher higher planes or lower planes or everywhere. So if you want to the direct path is to really keep your attention on the nature more of what you are and going back to the source. It's not bad to see this but uh, to see it as a reflection of uh, in the manifestation. Your mic is cut, Tanya. If you want to re to reply, you have to open your mic, please. Okay. Uh, yeah. So the point of it actually, the the story was like that series actually pushed me to get a dog. That what the series? That see that series uh, pushed see. me to get a dog. Ah ah, to get a dog. Why? Yeah. Why? It's it's a climax. The suspense of the movies, like uh, like the series, is like that. It's kind of. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I I don't know also. So anyway, to give you company, I think. No, I mean I I love dogs. Like I like just, but like that series, like a kind of like. It assured me, okay, getting a dog is a good idea. It's not a bad idea. I mean, I mean, I always. Went back and forth with the of getting yeah. a dog. Like I yeah. always wanted one. Yeah. Oh, it's good. Me, like, it's good what yeah. you mentioned. You know, the the desires yeah. about the desires to to fulfill them, to not be afraid, because otherwise you okay. keep things aside. So, and you go through your karma by fulfilling your desires, because at the end it's also to realize that. It's not the, to fulfill our desire which will give us peace, but it's more the absence of desire. Our nature, when we have no yeah. desire, we are at peace. But when the arise a desire for something, then our peace is already gone because we are going out 
wishing for something and then we'll get the ice cream and when the ice cream is finished for a few minutes we'll think at peace and we think the ice cream ice cream gave us the peace but if you see in the opposite yeah. it's more the absence of desire then you find back your peace yeah. so we think by getting a dog or anything we'll find peace it's, it's all it doesn't it's matter because on, it's actually to do with like love true love and like with humans like if the series shows like with humans love is not actually really real like it's very I don't know selfish like sometimes like mostly selfish with dogs it is uh, unconditional uh, a lot of yes yeah. It seems, but it's more unconditional from the side of the dog because the dog, you don't ask him if he wants to yeah. come with you. You don't ask him. So it's very selfish from the human being because you tell him, you come with me. You have no choice. I choose you, but you have no choice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. That, that, that's what the series said, actually. Yeah. Yes. Kind of, yeah. So we have to learn from the dog what is unconditional love. Yeah. Because you yeah. are so selfish. Yeah. We can say anything, no, but we can, it is also a way of seeing things. Yeah. You know, when I see people taking dogs, it feels like the dog has nothing to say. You just have to show maybe a note of 50 bucks or anything, and the dog is for you, finished. But we cannot do that with God. <laughs> no money will do. Nicely explained. Explained well, huh? But it's not an hindrance to have a dog, but through all this relationship, we can learn how selfish we are. Yeah. The, the separate being. Uh, but nothing wrong, it's just to observe yeah. it. Just to witness that. We have not heard Rima, I think she's in deep samadhi, so we should not <laughs> di disturb her. Who? Who? Rima. Punam. Yes. No, I'm listening. Oh, you out of Samadhi? Yes. I have a question, <laughs> but I'll ask later. Later? After everybody else. After everybody else. No, you ask. No, no, go ahead. Go ahead, Nilima. I don't need to interrupt. I have no question, but I have a story. Okay. Frank? Yes, so... Can you, you hear me? Yes. You have this maximum... Is on the term, 40 minutes. You have 40 minutes yes. for the story. Okay, I will it, uh, cut short in two minutes. See, there was a saint. In olden days, there was a saint. So he used to sit in front of the river and meditate all the time. He was a very saintly person and very good to the people from the village. He was a real sadhu. In, front, he was young also. in front of what? So he, <laughs> what? He, in front of the river. Ah, river, river. river. Stream of water. Yes. Yes. And he was meditating on the Shiva, Shiva Linga, and a very pious person. Then one day one butcher comes there, uh, and one one cow is running, and the white cow, and butcher is running after the cow. So cow is running, and butcher is running after the cow to kill the cow. And this saint is meditating. Said, so the butcher asked the saint, where is the cow? So the butcher, uh, the saint in meditative state, he is in meditation. He points out like this. He puts his hand in a direction and points out. But he doesn't talk. He's still in meditating. The butcher goes and kills the cow. Now this is the end of the story of that birth. In the next birth, that saint next takes birth, yes. birth in the rebirth, in the house of a butcher. Next life. Yes. But he, next life. But he is very, very pious. He is not, he doesn't have the instinct of killing and all. And he's very good to the people from the village. He's like a saint. So his father he's like is a also saint. a nice person. But the, fa yes, but father is a butcher. So when this boy turns of age, he tells his father he wants to leave everything and he wants to go in quest of knowledge, in quest of God. So father says, now you take this, uh, my uh, job and you do it. He says, no. But all the villagers tell the father, you agree with him and let him go. Because he is not, he is, he is something different. Because he meditates, he sees, because he has inherited all those qualities from his previous birth. 
so father allows it and the full village goes to live him on the border of the village it was much much in older times so he goes he goes with one bag one whatever his pouch and whatever small bag and he goes leaves in quest of god so he says he will not come back till he receive reaches meets a true person or quest for god then he reaches the jungle and it becomes dark now he wants to sleep so where will he sleep so he sees on a hill top small flickering light so he says there must be somebody staying a house so he goes on top of the house and he knocks there's a small hut hut is there so he knocks so a beautiful lady opens the door beautiful woman opens the door so he says sister he calls her sister she's very young and very pretty he just peeps inside so a man is lying on the bed a man is lying is paralyzed sort of and is lying on the bed so he calls sister i want to uh, stay overnight here because of animals and all that and tomorrow morning i will leave i don't have any where to go because there are snakes and tigers and all so she sees at him she says yes you can stay but on one condition you have to sleep with me that is the condition you have to sleep with me so he says you are my sister you are my mother i cannot do it she says no you have to and she catches hold of him he tries to leave him release himself from her clutches she doesn't allow him and she screams she says if you don't sleep with me i will teach you a lesson and she screams then from neighbor surrounding places huts so people come with the torches and all those olden times with the fire torches they come and they catch hold of him so he says she says we say they say what happened what did he says he saw my husband on the bed and he wants to take advantage of me he wants to take this opportunity to sleep with me so they all catch him she speaks lies and take him to the king to the neighboring uh, state to the king so the king is there and then that sabha is going on so the so king says you will be punished so what is the punishment that is a death death punishment but he pleads he says i am not guilty and he gives discourse on knowledge so then king says perhaps he is not guilty but once his uh, verdict is given he cannot take it back so he lessens the verdict and he says take this person to the border of the state and cut his right hand no both hand both hand no not both only one hand right okay hand. so it's a different version so the soldier stay to the border and cut it right oh. <clears throat> now end of the story so now the law of karma how it has worked see that that butcher son was the saint was the saint in the previous birth okay that cow which was which was killed by the butcher is that beautiful lady you understood yes i know this story lady yes i know this story jungle. yes and that butcher who killed is her husband whom she has tortured and made him paralyzed and now the, she has to also take revenge the karma is to come back so this person this saint she has she he had pointed the hand so his hand is cut yes he gets the karma by his hand is chopped so everything comes back so this is the story because he did not because he did not protect the cow because he pushed the car he, he, he pushed push the car out. out yes he, he pushed the car out yes he did protect he he showed that the cow is running this side so his hand was cut in the next yes. word so automatically everything comes back this is a small short story that short. whatever also oh, it's not it's not short uh, it's too long for our meeting but next time little shorter stories but it's a nice story but not more long than no, this this story <laughs> will remain this story will remain in your everybody's mind yeah it's good it's good but you see it's good no so now we can uh, there is so many stories uh, about like that and it's good to share but uh, i would like to focus on on uh, is there something which has no karma yes is there something here which has no karma which just does, does not know about action reaction 
beginning, ending, being born and dying? Is there anything like that? Because we have been discussing yeah. this thing and... Huh? It's, gonna, it's the awareness for the karma, no? The awareness who's watching the karma. But yeah, so one who thinks he is a body is bound to ask karma. There is karma for the body, but not for the soul, of not for the self. So if we want to go more on the direct path, it's better to put our attention on what has no karma. Because it's our self and it, it's prior to any karma. So we can forget about karma and we let karma run running by itself, action, reaction. But let's rise above above action reaction and be that which has no beginning and no end now and we don't need any karma to end for that because these stories are said for people who are too much identified on the body mind and it's fine but now maybe we are ready to hear another message that what yeah, we are is huh? but how to do this jump how to Forget. By not jumping, by staying here where you have always been. Stop jumping. This is opposite. Karma is jumping with outer things, coming and going. This is jumping. But being, there is no jump in being, just being here. <laughs> so let, look at the, the monkey mind jumping having his karma and let the mind is enjoying his karma but you have no karma and yeah. you look when, when i'm doing self-inquiry so in this position i will ask myself who is watching this karma okay there's a karma okay and this jumping and happening but this karma wouldn't be here without the awareness of this karma yes so awareness, you can match it with the sense of I am, right? Or the sense of being. So that's what Nizagata called in his book the, the, like the, the gateway. So in Bhakti, it would match with the love of the Guru. So it's the same space, you know. Be going to, because we came out of the Absolute by this first big, big bang, with a pung which is the word or the light and sound. So this created the first idea of separation. So now to come back from where we come to this first big bang. So this big bang has been, it's like atomic explosion. So we can this use this. Explosion of, this is the explosion of the eye. Yes, from, the, from the, yes, this, from the, 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 the unknowable, what is beyond our understanding, from that the first boom, big bang explosion, which create duality. So this is the first uh, sparkle, right? So to, we have to go back from where we came. So we can go back by two ways, by, by jnani, jnana or knowledge. So we can focus on the sense of I am, the sense of being, because that's all we can do, or we can use um, the love for a master, a guru, which is the same thing. And we can use both also. But this is all we can do. We cannot reach what we are, because we are that and we have no... But we can, with our awareness, stay in this awareness of I am, this awareness of being, or in the love for the guru, which is a, uh, uh, come to the same, that's all we can do. And we can bring back our attention to that point, always. But we can do that only in the waking state, not in deep sleep. So we do it when we are in the waking state, we do it. At the end, what we are does not need that. But the dream is going like that, that we play the part of the dream to come back through that gateway which is also part of the dream. It's like the, the dream is fading away. First, the dream seems very real, very hard, very concrete. 
And the more we become aware of our true nature, the dream is fading away. So we focus on that gateway through devotion, bhakti, or knowledge, or the sense of I am, or self-inquiry. Right? And you cannot do more than this. Because beyond, is no, there is no doing. So we can go up to that point of, you know, where doing stop. It's like you go to airport, you know, you prepare, prepare all your suitcase, you call the taxi, you prepare everything, but when you come at the airport, you have to also uh, go to the counter and so on. But once you are in the plane, then the driver has to, the, the, the captain has to, to, to take the flight. So you have done your job. You just have to sit on the plane. So the seat of the plane is the sense of I am or the self-inquiry for the knowledge, the path of knowledge, or the bhakti for the path of uh, devotion with a master, a guru. So you just have to sit there, but you cannot do more than this because doing is ending there. see what I feel is like it's happening more and more automatic when I'm too much involved in the life daily life and uh, sometimes pain increasing so the only thing is and now it's happened like automatically yes come back to the awareness yes right it become it become more and more automatic it means the sense of being the doer is vanishing you see and become more like automatic pilot first you have to put a lot of effort like sometimes um, the story of the rocket you know when the rocket need to leave the earth a lot of power is needed first a lot of gas petrol or whatever is needed uh, technically but then as the attraction of the earth is less and less and less there is less need of power to that the rocket is leaving in the space and at some point there is no attraction of earth then there is no need of any uh, any uh, uh, power uh, from the to, to to push the rocket so that's the same at some point it's like just on self pa automatic pilot because you have seen and realized that i is illusory so at that point even identification come back come in come out then Ultimately, you are not doing it, so it doesn't matter. It happened by itself. So I can enjoy the movie. <laughs> yes. Relax. And yes. The movie. And even this sense of less and more identification, losing of the sense of doership, all it's part of the movie also. Because ultimately, we are not, we have nothing to do when there is no sense, no space and time. There is no action possible what can you do without space and time without space and time you cannot bring your attention back anywhere even you need space and time for that so you cannot do anything with space and time so <laughs> you are like uh, like these guys without hands his hand was cut so but if for uh, the, uh, without space and time our universe is like a small football okay yes there's no universe without space huh <laughs> what universe without space yeah yeah so it's happening by itself so we put some effort for some time. At the beginning, maybe we have to put, put a lot of effort at the beginning. And then slowly the sense of doership is vanishing. And then the sense of, oh, just being carried by itself. So like that. What, what kind of effort do you mean? Like uh, discipline, you know, your, your sadhana, meditating, concentrating, bringing back attention to the I, putting your attention on the Guru, whatever you do as an I is a kind of effort 
you know, to do something, whether it is surrender or self-inquiry, you, you, you have to use your sense of doership. And this is like a mental effort. Yeah. It's like you, you have to use your willpower because you, as much as we are identified as a body-mind, as much we are identified as our free will. So the masters will tell us, use your free will and do and seek and practice and do this and do that. So we have to, to, to use that free will until we are more and more able to hear this free will is fake, it's, it's just an appearance in the movie. That, that, that's actually a really confusing part, like the free will and like the effort. Yes. Like who, who is the one making effort? Like. Yeah, it's an apparent uh, contradiction, paradox. But yeah. you are not the first one. If you read books on spirituality yeah. or attend satsang with masters, it's always the same question. And because it's very simple, in fact, it's who is speaking and who is hearing. So if the body mind is speaking, if the a master teacher talk to the body mind, then there is free will, right? But if you talk to the self, to that what you are, it will say no. This, this free will is only for the actor, for the body-mind, but it's fake. It's an appearance in the dream. You know, it's like imagine in, in you are dreaming at night and you feel, you feel you are drinking, uh, uh, drinking a glass of milk. Oh, it's so good. You feel it, right? Going through your throat and you enjoy and then you wake up and you, you realize you were never drinking milk, yeah. right? So okay, it now, like it's, now, yeah, if you, if you, dream. Huh? Huh? Like it, when we sleep in dream, we no, let me finish. Let me finish in, about this sense of doership and free will. Same. We feel okay. I decide like the drink, the milk we drink. We feel we drink it. So same, you sense I do. It's just a sense of doing. Not more than drinking the milk. But it doesn't mean it is true. If you question in this sense of doing, the more you will look, you will see it's not real. It appears real, but it doesn't mean it is. So yes, there is a sense of doing, the sense of free will. But it's just a sense. But For the actor. Huh? Drinking is happening. Yes, by... yes. This decision is happening. We take credit. That blows my mind. Yes. This... You see, that because you're in mind. between. You're in between. Mind is hearing, but something else is hearing. So it creates some... Yeah. So it's normal. You don't have to do anything. Let the mind be confused and something else hearing this message. Let it work. It's normal, all good. Okay. Okay. Because the mind is from an, another planet, you know. What you are is a kind of another planet, and this so two planets are hearing two different messages. So it creates a buzz. It's fine because but each planet receives its own message. And even for mind blowing, there's an awareness of this also. Yes. When you when she you say, my mind is blowing. There must be an awareness to watch it. Is it the yeah. case, Tanya? Yeah. Are you aware? Can you no. be witness of that? Like sometimes I like just like a little. I don't know. I actually don't know. Like there's a minor feeling like this, like what you're talking about, like. Yes, so if it is minor, it's, it's, it's really fascinating. Yes, so it's like a seed, but it will grow. So how you make a plant grow, you join, you, you come to satsang, you meditate, you read books, you put water on the seed, and the seed will grow. Yeah. Okay. So continue in that direction, and the, the seed will grow. And then the, the mind will become less... Now the mind is overpowering, over, overpowering 
But then the more attention you put on this little seed, the seed will grow and the mind will become less. Okay. So put all I your love in that okay. in that watering. Huh? Sorry? No, I was saying pull put all your love, all your attention on that watering. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Be a good gardener. Yeah. And yes, and you realize that you were not the gardener. It was happening in spite of you, but Yeah. You have to start to yeah. put water in. Yeah. Nilima? No, no, yes. sorry, sorry. Uh, Punam, it's your turn. If you like. Thank you. Um, thank you so much for explaining um, how to, in the beginning, get established um, with the deluded will and the mind. Uh, my question is, what you call dream, everything is happening and is experienced in consciousness, which is dimensionless, timeless, with no space and time. What the role of the body as the instrument and the senses? Um, if it is ultimately all happening in the consciousness or the experiencing. Uh, because body is in consciousness rather than consciousness and body. Um, I don't I, think you should bother too much to know who is in what. This, I don't think this is really helping to know if consciousness is in you, you are in consciousness, because ultimately it's concepts. Okay. So in and out. If you want to go straight, direct, but uh, what is the role of the body-mind, to reply to the first part of your question, is you use the tools of the body-mind as tools, as a gardener who would water the garden, the same. You use the tools of, okay. for example, you sit, we sit to meditate, you close your eyes, you find a good posture. So you use the body-mind as part of the, the, the process, right? You first, how you sit and this and that, but then you go more inside by, by um, putting your attention somewhere to focus, like that, but uh, consciousness is it's part of the dream also, as I, I, I would like to use consciousness as part of the dream. What we are is prior to consciousness. So it depends, not everybody uses the word consciousness like that, but I use it like that, like many, many other people. So consciousness is, a, is a, we could match it with a, also the logos, the word, the first, um, uh, big bound or expression of the self. So consciousness is the beginning of the dream, it's part of the dream. So that's why we're invited to put our attention where the, if I want to realize what is the dream, where it came from, I have to put my attention at the beginning of the dream, where it starts, how it starts this dream. So origin, you can use the sense of I am, sense of being, or to I, self-inquiry, or to put your attention on the, 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 the guru, the master, which is devotion, back surrender, bhakti. But it is the same, going to the same point, you need the, the top of the pyramid. So you go back at the, the, the beginning of the dream, and that's, that's the only place you can go. So you use both, body-mind, consciousness, Consci body mind is an expression of consciousness consciousness is an expression of the self we could say like that 
So you go like an, in a pyramid. You start from the physical, maybe breathing something. If you meditate on the sound, in a sound you use that, whatever. But the idea is to go back where it started. Keeping in mind that you cannot go beyond, but you can sit at that, go towards that, that beginning, where it started. Who is experiencing all that? Me, I. This is consciousness. Me, the, the wider me, not the individual me as a person, but the wider me is the, is the first consciousness. Is the first word or logos. or So we put our attention on this. This idea of beginning. Because beginning is time. Or self-love. Or love for the guru. All this is the same. We go back from where we came. speaking right now right so you are not a dream we are having this meeting and every day we wake up we do see things right dreams we don't see again and again but the waking world we see again every time we wake up so how do you establish this as dream in the waking state, even though things appear to us as solid. Same, again and again and again, the same thing. Because our attention has been used and focused on the outer objects and the world and the body, so it, we made it solid. So, if it cut again the video, we have to click on the link. Okay, I'm just telling you yeah. quickly because I want to talk about something interesting and I can share okay. with you a video of Ishwar Puri, a 15 minute video about uh, okay. quantum physics and science. So what quantum physics and science found is that the experience, what we see, depends on the experiencer. How the experiencer is witnessing what is appearing is changing the behavior of what is appearing. The particles, or uh, is it is it a wave of particles? Uh, it depends on the attitude of the experiencer if it is seeing it or not. So what is seen is behaving according to the experiencer, which means both science, quantum physics, bring back to. What is this experiencer? Because it is even the experiencer change your attitude of what is seen. And uh, spirituality is saying this since long time. So quantum physics and science is just confirming this. Put your attention on the experiencer. Who is experiencing all that? It's going at the top of the py pyramid, which is I, me. First, it is a sense of individuality, separate, but then you go to the top of the pyramid, which is I, the I awareness of the first awareness. Who is this experiencer? So, spirituality, quantum physics, science all bring to the same direction. Who is experiencing all that, ultimately? However, we are all seeing Satyam. Sorry? In the same form. Can you repeat, please? We are all speaking and hearing from Satyam in, in the same way. Even though we may be, you know, different on how spirituality is established in us. So there's solid, it's not a, in some ways, it's Solid, right? Uh, for, yes, for, for you or for now as we, according to our state, it's very solid and it's, it appears real. But now you have to, if you made some mathematics or science, 
you know what is an equation so now what appears real does it mean it is real are you okay. ready to yeah, question okay. are you ready to question that what appears real is it real so we make this assumption what appears real is real is it true now we can use the work of Baron Katie <laughs> is it true you see so we are seeing we are all seeing but the reality of that seeing is different yes we are yes so we are now to question the reality of that experience we have to go back from the experience where the movie is shooting okay. is it really happening and then uh, when you do that what do you find in your experience then it can be seen but um, like in a moment every that's how I would say it's like haha you know some kind of moment of ah where you see it's not with the eyes or with the mind in a ha ha moment you see that oh time and space is a dream can you walk us in a meditation like that so we are shall we do longer yes a little bit so you see how it happened yeah but it's exceptional when it's mm. usually not Many people they do two hours, but I don't want to do it a rule. But uh, yes. So but can you walk us through that? meditation so we feel that uh-huh <laughs> yeah you know, that is in a way the purpose uh, okay. but we have no control on it okay. so the all we can do and me this body mind as a tool or any any practice you will go any anything you will do is a um, invitation for that to be heard but it does not necessarily happen during a sad song or any there is no rules for that Got it. so it's Thank it's in, so independent from our will we can only do our best put our effort and the rest is not in our end otherwise it would be it, it's not the how the game is made it's not in our hand so we can only do our best like this and then out of the blue yes so thank you but we can witness you know this process of doing of uh, our sadhana our spiritual practice our effort we can increase our sense of awareness and witness of above that for example i can we can you can do an exercise you can feel your body now we can do a short uh, yes. exercise Thank you. feel your yeah. now you feel your body right be witness of your body and now Feel the body awareness, the body consciousness. Body consciousness. Don't try to understand too much with mind, just listen to the word. So, attention is on body consciousness. Now, what is aware of body consciousness? And now is there something which is witnessing this which has in the back witnessing what is aware of body consciousness so 
you see it's a short exercise but you can do that to to see like layers to detach from your uh, lower consciousness or ident more identified so you can do it from on the horizontal like this and or you can do it like in Saint Mat or the path we are inviting to go within and to leave the body physical body with your astral body you leave and then you leave from the astral to the causal etc so you can go from one side or the other from the horizontal or vertical but whatever you do the question will be the same at the end so maybe better to go straight to the question who is experiencing all that <laughs> yeah. at the end because i saw all even the masters of saint mat or or any other path at the end come to the same question who is experiencing all that and the greatest master i know says the self is the only reality all else, all else is part of the dream. All spiritual planes, any planes of consciousness, awareness, it's all part of the dream. So who is that self who is experiencing all that? Which is not a separate self. You can call it Buddha or whatever you like, nature of Buddha. It doesn't matter the name. But this is a cornerstone. Who is the experiencer? And what quantum physics and science also or nowadays coming to the same point because if you keep your attention only on the experience outside even in quantum physics it seems it's always changing and you cannot really know but now the ad attention is shifting to the experience because we have discovered the whether the experience is here or not or the way he is witnessing at it is changing what is seen so it makes sense to watch the center of experience the experiencer yes so anybody there anybody in anybody <laughs> i have uh, something to say about that uh, yes uh, I think uh, this is, uh, of course, not uh, new knowledge. And uh, the flower power generation in the 60s went also through exa exactly the same things, I guess. And what I should think and expect is that the outcome would have been a large group of people uh, who have a different seeing of the world, uh, knowing all this and uh, and, uh, watching the uh, world in a different way but after some uh, decades of time they became businessmen like uh, usual uh, uh, and I don't understand that how can they go back uh, to the material world uh, like that after having all these experiences so you know it's all it's so easy you just have to use this tool of who is asking the question who is triggered by the attitude of others? I. Always the same guy, you know? Because there is a, only one who is experiencing, who is dis disappointed by attitude of others. So, who is, with, who is experiencing this? I. Who is experience, experiencing others? I. So, I and others is going together. So, and the, the solidity of I is equally uh, proportional to the solidity of others. That's why we cannot, you see, if we are a little bit clever, we see that we cannot control you. We cannot control others. We tried to control the world, Hitler and so many people, uh, Napoleon tried to control the world, but they failed, you know. So to control you, to control the other, the world, is not working. So where to put our attention? On the one who is trying to control others, who is disappointed by others. Only this one we can put attention. 
not necessarily with trying to change it, but to, to know its nature. What is this, the nature of this controller I? Some people call it the devil. The devil it seems to be outside, but we all have this little Hitler inside who want to, 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 to control others, to kill others. You know, to not accept others as they are is, uh, in a way, is to kill them because I don't take you as you are. So, so we all have this controller inside. Who is this one? Who is this I? This is a root cause of all this is. Who is creating all these problems? The one like, who define what is a problem or not, and that is I. Who is the definer? I. Oh, this is, I mean, creating problems, conflicts, like same one telling you, go and approach this girl in the restaurant, okay? Have a gut and go and approach. And then you go and approach this girl, and she refuses to go, go away. And same one is saying now, why did you went there? What did you think to yourself you go to approach this girl? Yeah, but... The same one is pursuing you to do this, and then the same one is judging you why you did it. <laughs> like, In this, you can... You can uh, uh, look a little bit closer and make a difference between uh, different voices inside. So this is more on the uh, practical level, but you can try to develop what is real intuition or what is the mind speaking. So it's not the same thing. So intuition, you, le you can learn how it looks like. So it does not take time and space and it feels like, oh, I have to do it. I don't know why. I don't need proof. Maybe it's going any common sense, but I have to do it. So this is more like intuition. And you can find co coincidences with matching with that feeling, intuition. But the mind is a voice who will tell you, do this, do that. But it's more an energy which is not straight, you know. This intuition is like, Yes, I have to do it against any common sense, but I don't know why I have to do it, right? But the mind is need reasons and comparison and this, or sense you need to use your sense, senses. Intuition is beyond senses. Ishwa called it the eighth sense. So it's beyond senses. So it's not about being attracted by a girl, or it is only the senses. But so you can learn to discriminate what is intuition beyond senses. Then it's not the same voice. Uh, how do we do that? You have to look, observe how it feels when you have a decision to make. What would you say intuitively without listening to your mind, even if it does not seem practical? what your gut feeling would say. This is intuition. And you... Yeah, if but it's, it's difficult to know what is mind and what's mind. Yeah, mine. but this is by learning, by practice, you uh -huh. can discriminate. What is coming clear, with, like, you know, the more the certainty of being what you are also, spiritually, it's also giving confidence in this sense of intuition. You have more and more confidence. You don't care about what your mind says or other. You feel, I have to do it. Doesn't matter. This is intuition. And the mind depends on others, depends on my senses and my mind, my, my advantage, disadvantage. This is all mind games, not intuition. So this is very clear and you can learn that. Intuition, like always, isn't very practical. Yeah. Like the situation you are in. Yeah, but if it seems right, you don't care if it's not practical, because you know it's right. You are absolutely sure it is right. This is God speaking. Your intuition. But then, but not everyone like is uh, supportive of that. 
but you, if you feel it's right, do it. You don't need to, to wait for others because you are not even sure that others exist. They seem to exist, but uh, how long you will depend on others. So you have to follow yourself, what you feel. I wanted to ask about energy thing. Like this, uh, this now like, uh, like this is a concept now like going on like that everything in the world is energy. There's nothing else. It's all energy. Like what is do you know anything about that? Yeah, but this is just Shakti in India, energy, same. So, so energy is moving, you know, action, reaction. There is, it's all a game of polarity, you know, plus, minus. So when two plus come in front, they are two minus, they are pushed away. When the plus and minus come together, they are attracted. So all energy is going on by this game of attraction and repulsion. It's moving by itself. It is adding on a, a sense of I, sense of I do. But if you look through a mi microscope, there is no I. There is just energy gain, plus and minus, uh, uh, arranging itself by itself. Like, so it's actually energy, like everything around is energy. Yes, and like this, is there something beyond? Yes, what you are is prior to energy. The, the, the soul, the Atman, is prior to energy. Energy is a manifestation, an expression of the self. Yeah. And there's a difference in uh, female energy and male energy. Yes, like I said, plus and minus, okay. good and bad, all these opposites, yin, okay. yang, okay. you see, it's a manifestation. So it's seen yeah. through these two eyes, perceived through the two ears, yeah. but what you are is prior to the, this divided attention. So outside it appears to be two, but if you really look, you will see that it's just a perception, divided perception. But yes, the expression appears to be plus, minus, good and bad. But who is defining what is good and bad? So if you don't go through the mind, who define everything, energy is just moving like this or like that. And nothing is, everything is as it should be. Everything is just happening by itself, on its own. But there is a, you know, another layer which is added on the dream, which is a sense of I do, the sense of personality, I am a body-mind. This is a, a, a part of layer, a layer of the dream that you can question. And then w the more you see it as unreal, the more you will see as just energy moving. Attraction, repulsion. I like, I don't like. What is this I like, I don't like? What is it? It's just plus and minus coming more or less in this order in this alchemy or another alchemy. Are you going to play the video, Van? Um, uh, no, no, I will send you the link of, I will send you the link. Ah, okay. Yes, so, yes. And you will uh, bring this to YouTube, this uh, Zoom meeting? Yes, yes. Yes, it is recording now, so I will, I will share it. Yes. Good. Yes. Yeah, it was nice today. Many interesting subjects. So I'm happy yes. we share that together. And we are grateful for you, Satyam, and everybody. Yeah, me too. I enjoy also. <laughs> Yes. So, Thank you. any anything else? If if somebody want to 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 share or ask something. No, everything is fine and refined and defined or undefined. 
So let's let's uh, until next week when we meet, let's have a watch on this uh, definer who is constantly defining everything, what is good and bad, and who is this guy? How many voices do you have? <laughs> yes. How, how many faces? How many masks? Yes, that. Yes. So many birds. Yes. But was never born. And would never die. Yes. Bye. Okay. So so we'll meet Bye. next week if you you want to come, welcome. Wish you a good uh, morning, afternoon or evening, wherever you like you are. Good weekend. Good Thank you very weekend. much all. I, you. I send you a video, the video yeah. I told you. Bye bye. Bye bye. 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 See you. Bye, Peg. Uh, Thank you, one and all. Yeah.